Hello everyone, welcome back. I, Dr. Mike here, going to talk to you about floaters today. What are floaters? Have you ever experienced seeing little black dots, little squiggly lines, almost like a cobweb in your vision? And when you're looking around, it's kind of hard to pinpoint and see. What is that? I'm here to explain what that is. Before we start off, please do hit that subscribe button if you do appreciate videos about the eyes, ocular conditions, and even for students, those of you who work in the industry, hopefully there's videos for you on this channel. So please do subscribe. So let's talk about floaters. What are floaters? First off, to break it down, let's talk about the anatomy of the eye. So the eye comparable to a soccer ball, instead of being filled up with air, the back portion of the eye is filled up with what we call vitreous humor. It's almost like a jelly. That jelly, as we get older, begins to degrade and liquefy. As that process happens, which is a natural process with aging, we begin to get these little protein fibers that get caught in that jelly. That is what we're seeing as a floater. So naturally, light enters the eye through the pupil, and it enters through that jelly and makes images land onto the back of the eyes. Now, when there's these little protein strands, the light enters into the eye through the pupil, hits these little protein strands, scatters the light, and causes a shadow of these floaters to end up on the retina. This is what we're seeing as floaters. Now, this could be anywhere from a cobweb to a little strand to multiple little almost fly-like appearance of floaters in your vision. The issue is you can never really pinpoint where they are. And the reason for that is as you're looking around, it's caught in the jelly. And as your eyeball is moving, that means the floaters are moving. And that means the shadow that is made on your retina is moving as well. So you can never exactly pinpoint where those floaters are, but they are a natural process of aging. Now that we've explained what floaters are, I do want to add a caveat to this whole thing. One thing that can happen with floaters is, as we're younger, that jelly fills up the eye and is adherent to the retina, which is the back of the eye. If you want to think of the eye like a camera, it's almost like a film of the eye, that being the retina. As we get older, like we mentioned, that degradation of that liquid, uh, of the jelly actually, starts to actually degrade, and we begin to have those floaters. Now, if that jelly is attached to the retina, as it liquefies or degrades, it can pull on the retina and it can cause little holes, little tears, or in certain very urgent cases, it can cause a retinal detachment, which actually pulls the retina from the back layer of the eye or the back structures of the eye. That is an emergency upon emergency. Never ignore a floater, even if it's just one. It's always important to see your doctor. With that said, other symptoms that you may find, if there is something more serious going on, you may see flashes of light. That may be just like you're seeing a flash from a camera. It could be sectoral in different areas, or it could be a full half of your vision or your whole vision. Regardless, that can happen if there's any tugging on the retina itself. With that said, if you also ever get a curtain-like appearance in your vision, I want you to pause this video should you be experiencing any of these three symptoms, even if it's a combination or just one, and see your doctor urgently. It is vital that you see your doctor if you're having any of these three symptoms because it could indicate something way more serious happening on the inside of the eye. The one thing I do want everybody to know is that floaters are a process of aging. It is something completely normal and completely natural to have. That is why it's important to see your doctors because you just want to rule out that there's nothing more serious that's going on inside of the eyes. Now, once you experience floaters, they can be quite annoying. What do we do to fix that? So, one of the main things that doctors do is nothing. Unfortunately, it's one of the best treatments for floaters. Few reasons for that. Number one, over time, as we mentioned, those floaters are suspended in that jelly and they can get taken down with gravity and eventually you don't even see them. But our brains are quite impressive and quite smart and they adapt very well. So most of the time, even if a few of those floaters remain, you're able to start to ignore those floaters. Now for those big chunky floaters that are really, really hard to get rid of or to really stop paying attention to. There are certain procedures and that are surgical procedures that you can do. 
One other thing that they can do is called a vitrectomy. Now what that is is the vitreous, as I mentioned, is that jelly that fills the inside of the eye. There's a surgical procedure where they remove that jelly while inserting a new synthetic version of that jelly that is clear. Every surgical procedure comes with its own uh, uh, defaults and its own risks. So that's something you do have to keep in mind. In terms of floaters, a lot of the time it's risk versus benefit because these main big surgical procedures can have many different adverse reactions post-surgery and very different risks that can occur post-surgery that are not quite worth it to have done should it just be for a floater or a little floater that's bothering you once in a while. So that is something to consider. Now, there is a research paper that has come out recently that has shown that increasing your intake of pineapples can actually potentially cause those floaters to dissipate. With that said, I will make a separate video on that to explain the pros and cons of the research paper that was out and the benefits or risks that can come with having the pineapple. Or does it actually work? And I will break that down in another video. With that said, hopefully this explains everything you need to know about floaters. And if you did like it, please do subscribe. Much appreciated. Thank you and have a wonderful day.